Hello and welcome to another episode of my Working with Todoist series. My name is Carl Pauline and this week I'm going to show you why you should be using Todoist Upcoming View. Todoist Upcoming View was introduced about 18 months ago, maybe two years ago, and what it does is gives you the perfect place to do your planning. One of the problems I come across with many people who write to me and even some of my coaching clients is there is a resistance to planning. Now normally when there's a resistance somewhere it's because of how difficult or how perce the perception is of how difficult something is. Well when you use to do this upcoming view it's really easy to do your planning. All you need to do is open upcoming and have your calendar next to it and you can plan out tomorrow, the next day, the whole week just from one view in Todoist. And that's what I'm going to show you what you can do with upcoming today. Now before we go any further I would just like to say if you do get any value from this video then please help me by clicking on that like button below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and you want to get all the latest tips, tricks and news on using Todoist then please subscribe to my channel. Okay, let me take you into my demo account now and I'm going to show you everything you need to know about upcoming. Okay, so here we go with the upcoming view. Now, one of the reasons why I love this view is because of what it can show me, particularly when I'm doing my daily and weekly planning session. Now, essentially, I know I have this filter here which is my focus task for the next 24 hours. So I use tomorrow's focus as part of my planning session. But essentially what this does is only shows me those tasks with a flag. So for those of you curious, because I know I always get asked this question, if I just go to my tomorrow's focus filter here, uh, oops, um, I need to go into, this is a new, by the way, you may not have this way of getting to your filters, I should point out. This is the beta version, but it is coming soon. So here we are, the filter query is two days and not P4. That means the exclamation mark means not. So two days and not P4. But this only shows me uh, the tasks that I have for the next 24 hours if you like. So I like to see what I haven't completed today and what needs to be completed tomorrow. But the upcoming view gives you everything. It tells you everything. So not just the flagged items as I have here, but it also shows me everything else that's coming up. So I can get a really good picture of what is happening. Now there's two ways of navigating this. You can navigate by just you're scrolling down like this and you can just check to see how your days are going. The next one is to use this up at the top. Now you can't go backwards. I need to point this out. This is not a problem for your in your Todoist. It is just a feature. You cannot go backwards. Remember this is the upcoming view, not the past view. It's the upcoming view. So I can look at Friday. I can then go to Saturday and think, oh, okay, yes, tomorrow's not looking too bad. How's Sunday looking? Um, sorry, I can go to Saturday. How's Sunday looking? And it will always come up at the top. And if you ever want to get back, all you have to do is hit today and it will take you straight back to today. So that's just up here, the today button. Now, what happens if you want to really plan ahead? If you want to go all the way to the end of the year, let's say, let's say I want to go all the way to December. Well, I can go to the picker here uh, wait, October 21, and I can use the forward arrow key. So let's say, what am I doing on the 1st of December? Well, this is my demo account. So I'm actually doing nothing at all in December. Isn't that cool? <laughs> I'm doing nothing in December. Let's go back to the calendar here. What you'll see, by the way, is I'm going to go back to October and uh, you can see that there is a dot underneath each of these dates. That means that there are tasks 
in this and you can actually just pick on a day so I can pick on the 3rd of November and I can see that on the 3rd of November I'm washing my car and checking the washer fluid levels that's why I've got the button and you'll also see that you get the dot here as well on the date so I've got nothing set up for Thursday Friday Saturday as I say this is my demo account so I haven't got that far ahead in my planning but you can use the dots here so there's a lot that you can do to go back to today's date by the way just tap on today and I can also use use the arrow keys here to go into next week. Now this is one of the crucial areas for me because when I'm doing my weekly planning session one of the things I always do at the end of the session after I've decided to add the when after I've added the dates to all the tasks that are in my this week folder is I will go through this to make sure I've got balance. Now I also use my calendar when I'm looking at this because I need to know where I'm going to be what I'm going to be doing. So for instance, I know next week on Tuesday and Wednesday, I will be recording an update to my Apple productivity course. So I will not want, when I'm doing my weekly planning session, I will not want to be adding too many tasks for Tuesday and Wednesday. I'm also going to, because I'm going to see that on my calendar. My recording sessions for online courses are always in my calendar because that tells me I need to not allow any appointments on those days. So this is a great way to finish your weekly planning session. You can just go into the upcoming view and you can look at where you can add your tasks. So if I wanted to fill up days, I could try Thursday, Friday, Saturday or Sunday in this example. Again, if I want to go back, I just hit the today and I go straight back. Now, the other way I use this is, as I say, I want to, when I do my daily planning session, I always go in, I, these days I generally just start in my upcoming view because I want to see what the complete picture. I want to see everything that I have scheduled for tomorrow and this gives me the complete picture. As I say, if I go to my tomorrow's focus, it will only show me these two tasks. I'm assuming I've done these today. So it will only show me these two tasks or anything else that I've added today. But upcoming is always going to give me the, the, the task. Every single thing that I've got in coming up tomorrow, I can see it right there. And I can then make judgments based on, do I have time to do all that? Well, if I look at my list here, I'm going to complete my YouTube video recording process. That essentially just means editing. I need time to record, write the podcast script. That takes about 90 minutes. Uh, business development usually takes a couple of hours because it's my planning session for the future of my business. This is a weekend minimalist task, so I can just go into here. I can open up and think, can I do something in here uh, that will keep me occupied? You know, maybe I can do something from that list. If not, I can just reschedule it. Now, interestingly, this is repeating every Saturday. If I look at this as a complete list. I'm thinking I really don't have time to do any of that. All I would do, now this is my choice because I don't use karma points, I will just go but and it just disappears until the following week. So if we go to the following week and go on to Saturday, you'll see that that task now is there. So I'm, it's good. I'm good to go. Um, let's go back to Saturday. Uh, where are we? Saturday. Yep. So I'm looking at my. So I'm looking at this list here and thinking, yep, I can do all that because uh, I've got a weekly planning session. Well, that was <laughs> that was a repeat. Let's just remove that one uh, as a it's demo account. So let's remove that one. So really, when I look at my list here, I've got plenty of time to write the podcast script, complete my YouTube video editing, uh, do the business development time, and then do my weekly planning session. Reviewing the master project list isn't going to be that big at this time of the year because we're into the final quarter and I only have about two or three projects left, most of which has been completed. So there you go. That's how I use upcoming. And I really, really recommend that you get into the habit of using the upcoming view for your planning sessions because they re it gives you the big picture of what you've got scheduled. And then as long as you have your calendar open at the same time, you can then make judgments on whether you have the time of available to complete all your tasks. And one more thing while we're dealing with this, let's just say I know I've got time to do that. I can just drag that down to Sunday and I can do that on Sunday and say, oh, I'll call my mom and dad tomorrow. I can just move that task up. So you can actually move tasks around within upcoming as well and it's you don't have to add any dates you're not changing any dates you're just dragging and dropping by the way you can also add a task so I could add here and say um, 
wash the car or let's say clean out the car because we did a trip on Wednesday. So clean out the car needs cleaning out. So I can do that. And you'll notice that although that's in my inbox, it's scheduled. Let's just click out there. Cancel that. And it's scheduled now for tomorrow. If I just open up the task, you can see it's scheduled for tomorrow. So it's a quick way of adding tasks when you're doing your planning session. So there you go. Thank you very much for watching this episode. And it just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week. Hello, thank you very much for watching my videos. Now I have something exciting to tell you about. Recently I have developed a brand new time management system. It's a system designed to manage your time in the 21st century. The world has changed a lot over the last 20 years. In fact, it's actually changed a lot this year. And what we need now is a system, a time management system that is very easy to use easy to maintain so that you can spend more of your time doing the work and that's what the time sector system is all about it's going to change your whole belief system about way the way a time management system should work because this focuses on when when you are going to do the task and let's be honest it doesn't matter how motivated inspired or how urgent something is if you don't have time to do it it is never going to get done and that's what this system is built around, getting your work done. So you can spend more of your time doing the things that you want to do. I hope you join me in this course. The full details of the course are in the show notes below. So please join me and thank you very much for watching this brief video.